Welcome back to the Thursday edition of the multi-tool videos. This day we are going to be looking at this tool right here and I think I made a mistake. So let me give you a little background. I was on Amazon. I saw this tool right here for around $20. I was curious, checked it out a little bit, went to the original website. This is a handsome brand's multi-tool and it was marked down to $5, like $5.99. So I went ahead to go check out uh, these. Once you get to check out, you could buy it for $4 and like 50 cents. So I bought two more because I thought it maybe be good enough to tear apart and make something out of it since it was so cheap. And I think I might've been cheated out a little bit, but let's go ahead and get into the specifics. Now, what this is called a couple different names. So on the Handsome Brand website, this will actually be known as the Full Handsome Toolbox in Your Pocket 12 in 1. Sort of a very long and weird name. And on Amazon, this will be called the Mini Multi Tool Knife 12 in 1. Now, in case you haven't noticed, this is a Leatherman Super Tool 300, one of Leatherman's largest multi tools. This multi tool right here is called Mini, and it is basically the same size as the Leatherman 300. So that definitely is not a very good description at all. So let's go ahead and move the Leatherman 300 out of the way. One of the things that caught my attention on this multi-tool was that it is locking. So a lot of times with some of these cheap multi-tools, especially like a $5 multi-tool, you're not going to see that it's locking. And then let's go ahead and open it up and see all the uh, stuff that it has, negative and positives. So it has this, this thing here, which is like the SOG. It doesn't, I don't know that I really like that, but it's supposed to make it more comfortable to grip and I guess in theory it does. I know on the SOG these fall off all the time, so I'd imagine on this very, very cheap multi-tool it will as well. So one, let's, let's look at some of the positives. So first of all, one of the things I notice is that this multi-tool, the plier head, actually meets better on the front than some of Gerber's pliers. So that was very shocking to me, uh, to be honest. And then obviously it does have locks on it, which some of even Leatherman's like the Bond and so forth do not. Now, having said that, there's no comparison to a Gerber or Leatherman. This is just, this is Chinese Dollar Tree basically product. So, I mean, the pliers, I think for $5, basically you're probably just getting a set of pliers. So, uh, some, so when they originally come, they actually come with a spring. My kids, I let them play with this and the spring already popped out. So they are spring loaded supposedly when they come, but again, the spring just falls out. And so let's look at the, the tool set. Uh, there's no crimper. Again, that's just the inset for the spring, even though it looks like it could be a crimper spot, but it's not. So you have to open these long metal sleeves. And then we've got a file of sorts. All these tools, it seems like are extremely shiny. So you've got a smooth and supposedly a rougher side. But anyway, it is what is. And then on this side, Again, a lot of these tools are going to be a pattern of either Leatherman or SOG, they're, but they're super shiny. So we've got this bottle lifter, bottle cap lifter, screwdriver. We've got this very rounded screwdriver as well. It's not really even flat on the end. So we've got that one. And then let's see, we have got this tool. So this will be some sort of uh, wrench. I don't think you're going to be using that very often at all, but that's what you've got. And then you also have, it looks like, I guess one of these, I'm not sure if, I thought we already had a tool that was similar to that. So let's go ahead and, and pull this one out. Yeah, so we've got, I'm not sure. I guess maybe one of these is supposed to be a can opener. Anyway, and then we have got the knife. So all these, again, are very super shiny. 
And all right, so we've got to go ahead and release this huge lock here and we'll get these implements back in place. And then, so the knife does lock. So to be honest, it actually holds in there pretty well. So that's one of the only positives about this is that the, the lock actually works. I've had some multi-tools that are very cheap and the lock basically did not work. This one actually does. So that's one of the things, one of the few things they got right. So let's go ahead, let's try to cut a sheet of paper here. Let's see if a knife can even cut. To be honest, I haven't even tried it yet. All right, so we've got the knife. So actually not too bad, I'm actually surprised. For $5, not too bad, not too bad. So it is what it is, definitely made in China all the way, but it is what it is. All right, so let's see. I'll go ahead and fold this back in here and let's look at the other side. So on the other side, again, we lift up these sort of awkward flap things and we've got this saw. Now, I'm not sure how good this saw is actually going to be, but anyway, let's see if I can grab a piece of wood here. And we're going to try to look at this. Let me move the camera just a little bit here. And we're going to, let's see, let's lock lock this in place let's see what we'll lock and that's a problem let's see I can't seem to get the saw blade to lock in place let's see yeah now it's in there okay so it's cutting I don't feel like it's biting in that well so it's making a big, a big cut, but I guess, I guess it might work if this was the last tool on earth you could use, but I don't feel like the saw is actually even as good as a knife, which I guess the knife's okay for, for a very cheap multi-tool. All right. So then let's see, we've got the saw. Let's, we've got this very shiny Phillips head screwdriver. We have got this mini screwdriver, which is so thick and rounded, I don't know if you could even use. I, I don't think you can use it. I think you would need to sharpen it as an awl. I don't think it would work as a screwdriver unless you ground it down. So that, I think, is a total waste without trying to fix it. And then... We have got this can opener. Okay, so this is actually the can opener. Again, it's a, it's got a really, again, really shiny and hardly an edge, maybe it'll work. And then we got the serrated knife. So let's go ahead and let's see. I guess I don't have too much things. These, again, these blades are, that one didn't lock in place as bad. But let's just see if I can chaw this paper over there. Yeah, I can rip through that. I'm not sure about rope. Uh, it doesn't feel like it would cut through rope very well. But anyway, that's that's where this stands. So, all right. Well, this has been sort of a long video, but I just wanted to go over the Handsome Brand Multi-Tool, let you know the pluses and minuses. Again, it's a very cheap tool. This is $20 on Amazon, $20 now on the Handsome Brand website. Frankly, it's probably not worth it. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this multi-tool. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.